Hi, my name is Melissa Garcia, and I'm presenting on behalf of myself and Ann Darga, the team leads of the SBUSD Dyslexia Project, made possible with the partnership and support of the SBEF. Thank you for being here tonight with me. Uh, if you have any questions regarding our Dyslexia Project and how we've impacted uh, students and our community, please feel free to reach out to myself or Ann Darga, and uh, Margie would be happy to direct you tonight. I'll be taking you on a visual tour of all the ways uh, that we provide multi-sensory learning across our district. Um, what started at one site has expanded to four, and it is our goal to expand to all of our elementary sites by the end of the next school year. Um, so I'll go ahead and start that visual tour now. Here we are at Monroe, McKinley, Harding and Roosevelt. And Anne and I are fortunate to lead a team of um, four reading instructors. And uh, we provide coaching and support and training through our weekly coaching meetings, training and demonstration lessons, observations. And in that, we hope to. Uh, provide consistent instruction across our entire district so that students have access to multi-sensory learning in a three to one setting, five times a week for 45 minutes a session. Um, in those sessions, we provide um, visual, auditory, kinesthetic, and tactile learning opportunities using the Orton-Gillingham methodology, the science of reading, and um, we provide students with various opportunities to engage with Project READ uh, curriculum in that multi-sensory format. So here we see some pictures of students learning about the H Brother WH and um, accessing those visual, auditory, kinesthetic, and tactile pathways um, that are so important for students with characteristics of dyslexia. Um, in their acquisition of reading. And here we are with some more students across our sites and um, some examples of students doing some multisyllabic um, word work using evidence-based strategies and manipulatives for um, decoding multisyllabic words. And we can see that instruction is consistent across sites. And last but not least, we have some students here getting some social emotional support with our puppy friend. And then of course, more officially through our growth mindset uh, curriculum where we provide students with support um, and skills and language uh, so that they can um, persevere through what can be a challenging area of learning for students with characteristics of dyslexia. Um, and then here are some examples of multi-sensory learning uh, when we moved into distance learning. Fortunately, we're back in our in-person learning, providing currently one-to-one -one instruction and other ways that SBEF has helped us impact our district and community is that Anne and I have been able to um, design and deliver district workshops um, in order to provide K through two classroom teachers some learning in the space of multi-sensory reading strategies. Um, and that is through the Orton-Gillingham methodology and the science of reading. Um, you can see teachers here are very curious to learn and grow their practice, and we are so happy to be able to share that knowledge across our district. Um, additionally, we're able to provide um, home books for students um, during uh, the holidays, and those are, of course, curated based on their zones of proximal development. And last but not least, students are able to showcase their acquired reading skills to community members of our school and district. And um, we're, we're able to do that with the support of SBEF. Thank you so much for your time and attention tonight and your continued support as we continue to provide equitable reading instruction uh, across Santa Barbara. Have a wonderful night.